and I'm definitely gonna take your wife out for a nice meal at Applebee's. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, I wanted to uh, show you guys this really awesome yet random conversation that I had earlier today with a Cat 1 racer who's been racing for about 30 years uh, here in the Chicagoland area. It was a really interesting uh, story, so stay tuned guys and I'm going to give you a breakdown on how the conversation went. Alright guys, so earlier today I was out riding doing some endurance efforts, and by endurance I mean sprinting for no reason and uh, just cranking to stank because that's what I do. But anyway, I was stopped at a traffic light and I hear somebody whistle to me. So naturally I'm thinking, oh snap, it's probably one of the little tenderonies or one of the moms in the area want to holler at your boy. But no, it was just a cyclist and he wanted to say hi. He wanted to introduce himself, ask me if I'm new to the town, which I'm not. But nonetheless, um, it just so happens that uh, he races here in Chicago. So I asked him a bunch of questions and he was so happy and willing to give me a lot of advice on uh, when it comes to racing and as far as uh, riding in these faster group rides. Now I'm not exactly brand new to uh, racing in fast rides but because he has so many years and decades of experience I thought it would be a really nice conversation to have with him. So I didn't record the whole entire conversation because I didn't want to be rude and I wanted to respect his time. So so far I've waved to about 10 cyclists today and only one of them have waved back to me. So if you're out there and you haven't waved back to me just know that you and I will be fighting to the death and I'm definitely going to take your wife out for a nice meal at Applebee's. But yeah. Let me show you guys what this video is all about and you guys can uh, give me your thoughts. The riding stuff comes through riding, but to to be safe, there's so much stuff going on. And yeah. I see more accidents happen on easy rides when people aren't paying attention. <laughs> you know, when you're hard, when a ride is going hard and you're focused, yeah, you see that stuff. Yeah. So if you can maintain that kind of all the time, that's key. You have to be focused on what's up the road and you never try you try to never ha be in a situation where you have to react like split second yeah i mean there are times in races when you can't avoid like there's a hole and the best <laughs> thing to do in that situation is just bunny hop you know like you don't uh, like you know this kind of thing because you'll take yeah. people out if if you see it ahead of time you move over gradually and you make sure people are aware but if it's something like in your if you're in a tight group and something comes on you quick you just got to go gotta up go. <laughs> rather than doing a swerve. Absolutely. But you shouldn't be put yourself in that situation because most things you can see ahead of time. Yeah. Even if you're riding on somebody's wheel, you always try to like, you know, kind of get a glimpse of the road ahead. And, yeah. You know, so, but you're always up the road and you don't, when you see stuff and you move over and you move back. Yeah. You know, it's none of this kind of, <laughs> and when you ride with people like that, you're like, oh, they, they, and sometimes you ride with people that are just really twitchy, but yeah, if you're like aware of stuff and you are focused on the road ahead, then you'll become a much smoother cyclist. There, there's a group on Saturdays in the summertime in the fall. They're all, you know, a bunch of either retired corporate guys and they're so safe and smooth. And I feel more confident riding with people who are even my age or older versus sure. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not so much, you yeah, know. Yeah, you know, young people got too much stuff going on in their head. Well, <laughs> it's like, why is your head down? You should be, yeah, uh, no, yeah, down, down the road. Yeah. So when you, when you, when you're riding with people and you notice a guy who's second or third wheel, who's pointing out stuff that the first guy hasn't pointed out yet, yeah. you know he's focused on what's up the road. Then you'll see, like, I mean, when I'm riding with somebody, I can tell how long it takes them to react to something yeah. if they're paying attention. Yeah. Like if I see that in the road and I've already moved over and you're waiting for, you know, one, two, three, oh, now he sees it and he's moving over. Yeah. I'm already aware that guy is really not paying as much attention. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. it's just you lost focus yeah. or whatever. But other times you're like, that. I know where that guy's eyes are because I can see when he reacts to something, his yeah. eyes are about right here because that's how... Oh, now he sees it and he's moving over. Uh, have you seen like with um, like say someone who has phenomenal fitness where they end up catting up too quickly to where they may have the fitness but not the bike handling and kind of the other sort of technique and stuff? Well, you know, the, the thing is we do so much of our riding on just, you know, flat roads. and Now you get into a, a, a race situation where you're going around a corner at 40 miles an hour. We don't practice that really. That's what these crits are good for, the yeah. triple X, because you get practice at that, because you need practice. Yeah. We don't do a lot of that, 
But the fitter you are, it kind of follows. You throw yourself in a situation, you're going to learn pretty quick. Yeah, that's part of it. I mean, crashing is part of the deal. It's it's part of the game. So yeah. you try to minimize it as much as you can, but it's just one of those things. It's not a matter of if, right? It's, <laughs> it's going to happen. It's just a It's such a hard pill to swallow, and I know I have to kind of be, have that mental toughness, but... Because when someone gets injured, especially me coming from like a hard one, I, I feel for them so badly and I tell someone else that they crash and they're like, yeah, that sucks. That's just yeah, part of racing though. Yeah, it's kind it of a... Sometimes stuff you just happens, you know, yeah. you have a flat in a corner, something just happens. Again, when you're in a race and you see a guy that's taking a line that's not there or that is the wrong line or, you know, you, you know pretty quickly who you should be around and who you shouldn't. So yeah. when people uh, are constantly, you know, Going out of their way to get in front of you, you know it might be you, right? Like <laughs> that's the that's the most dangerous part is when you got somebody who's doesn't have the fitness and they're trying to do things that they shouldn't, and that can be dangerous. They're saying right? cross side and then they're taking a bad exactly. line. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, so there's two reasons why I want to share this conversation I had from earlier on with you guys. The first one being is because no matter how much you train, no matter how good your fitness is when it comes to prepping for uh, racing, all these crits, road races, etc., nothing can beat having the experience and conversation of someone who's been racing for decades, especially here in Chicago. For me, I think that's a very valuable asset to have. And the second reason why I want to share this conversation with you guys is because the only reason why this conversation was even possible was because this cyclist was being courteous to me. He acknowledged me. He said hi. He introduced himself. And I mentioned this in a previous vlog video with you guys that it pays to be nice out on the road. So had I been a jerk back to him, I would have closed the door on being able to suck in all of this awesome content and um, experience and just some things that can help me for my race prep. So that is going to wrap up today's video guys and as always if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them down below and i will check you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace